Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and we are back with more Snapshot Part 2 of the first chapter. I just explained the game mechanics. It's basically a jump run with a unique photo mechanic. So, this was my first tricky, uh, tricky level where I really did not know how to get out. So, as you can see, I got this jumping flower thingy. I don't know what, this, what the name is. And I can't reach the ledge, no way. So, what do we do? Well, we have to grab it, make a photo and paste it mid-flight. Let's do this again, just to, in case you didn't see it. And this can be really tricky on a controller. Now you might see why I mean. Play with mouse and keyboard if you have the opportunity to. If you don't have a... If you don't have a Steam account and prefer to play on the Xbox, well, you're out of luck, but I guess you can do it. It's just really tricky. Okay, so we actually unlocked the last level. Oh, actually we unlocked the first chapter, I think, the second chapter. Yeah, no, we will continue. We will play through the first chapter, all levels. So this is the elephant level. I told you about elephants. They are actually quite cool. I mean, look at them. They are really funny. I think they're funny. So what, what do they do? They walk from left to right and they push items around. Uh, no, I can't take a photo. They have no photos on. Um, so they walk around and push items. Um, you can use them as a jumping platform. They're basically the same as the flower, but with the added benefit of walking around and pushing things around. So, now we remove the box, he will now walk onto this side before he returns. Let's jump on him! Easy peasy, actually. So, we take this little fella, and there we go. Easy. Really, I wonder how you can finish such a level in 10 seconds. These uh, bonus, let's call it quest or challenge to finish a level in a very short time is really hard. And I wonder why I can push those, probably because they have this big, this violet, pink borders, something like that. Okay, what do I have to do here? I don't think I have to go up here. I think the exit is somewhere else. Yeah, there's the exit. So I have to get this box out of the way. How do I do that? Ah, okay, I remember. Uh, first of all, I need a box. I can push the box with the elephant. I can push it because of the weird border. And we need you. Yeah, I need you. Okay. Let's take the box. And we put the box here. Really cool, right? I think it's cool. Now the elephant will push the box onto the whatever it is called, which will unlock this box and now I can get through. Great success, yes. I really love how they combine those elements together. And every level is unique. At least in the first chapter, I haven't played till later than the first chapter. This one was quite tricky to remember. Um, so, what to do, what to do, what to do? Ah, okay. I can stand in front of here and do things, which I'm not sure right now what I have to do. Um, I think I need something to stand in front of there. I don't think it's the elephant. Is there a box somewhere I can steal? No. Okay, maybe I have just to do it fast enough. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't remember. Hmm. That could actually work. So I will now put. There was a weird platform here, and the elephant on top of the platform. Ah, there we go. 
I guess there's the special item, but I don't care. I want to finish the levels. <laughs> there's just so many details in this game. I really enjoy it. Like these little screenshots and this menu and ah, it's just great. So. Stage number seven, hidden imagery. Oh yeah, this one is tricky. That's another mechanic. Probably it's called a mechanic or item. So, as you can see, I need a box to get up here, but where is a box? There's no box. There's no box. Well, it's hidden. First time I was really confused since I could not photograph anything. There was nothing around and all of a sudden, oh, it appeared. This is because when you have a hidden object, they have to align to form the object you need. In this case, the box. And then we can photograph it and use it just as we want in the game. And this can get really tricky, especially if you think there's everything and you forget that there can be items hidden in the background. But they will explain. So, in this case, we need an elephant, and this elephant is back here. I mean, now that we know where to look, we now have the elephant. So, now we can put the elephant somewhere, but I think you can put it in the background, yes, since then this will happen. And I think I've now I messed up. Look at this, I severed the head from the body. Oh my god. I don't think I can disalign in any way. No, no, damn it, I have to restart. This happened to me several times until I realized I have to place the elephant in front of a bush or something. Or a tree. Anything not that dark, not in the background. Then he will come back to life. So, come here, little one. There we go. And no, the level isn't finished yet. I have actually to be quite fast. This is another of these tricky levels. Let's call it them. Let's call them that. And well, I mean, now I got both at once. I need just the elephant. Then I need you. So now let's put the elephant back here. Sometimes the elephant walks off the platform. I don't know what this is about. This time everything is fine. Maybe he just walks off boxes, but that can be quite a pain in the A. So let's go for part three. I think there's something hidden again. I don't know what. I forgot. Ah yeah, there's a box. Let's take the box and put it down. Here. And I think I need the second box to get this. Yeah, this took me about 10 minutes on the first attempt, since I didn't see the box, which was quite annoying. Um now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Actually I don't bring remember. Come here. I have to go left or right? I think I have to go. Then we can get the other box. You gotta really be careful with these. If you just want to get them out of your clipboard, you can paste them above your because they will crash you. So let's go for the next level. Which would be oh no. No 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 I don't want to go in there. No, no, no. Let's go back. Lights out. Oh yes, yes, I was really impressed with these. You will see why. You will see why shortly. In a short time. So these are actually individual boxes, which is also quite cool. They're really showing off. And um, I can I can And they're each of individual little boxes. So I can take like one and paste it. 
take them all. And now, well, it's quite dark. It's hard to see what's going on over there. So let's take a light source and put it on a lamp holder or whatever it is called. And now we can move. Cool thing is, these are not bound to these places. They can jump around and you can throw them. And uh, really throw them, but you can pick them up and place them anywhere. Just quite cool for a platformer, this light mechanic. Voila! So, let's take the light source here and this one. And now we can use it. Also, there are these marks sometimes. <clears throat> on the walls, like these axes and arrows, and they show you where to go. In this case, I have to go down. Or I can go down without killing me. There are places there have been spikes, which would have killed me. So, let's grab the elephant. This is really weird planet, isn't it? Also push these. Um, okay. I'm not sure if I need the light anymore. Let's take it with us. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, I need actually need the elephant. Okay, no problem. Let's catch him when we jump. Okay. Got it. Ah wrong jump. Okay, I'm not sure this was the right call. This could be completely wrong. Um, I will try nonetheless. This might be completely wrong. I can remember this level. No! Okay. Probably wrong. Uh, maybe I need a box or something. What is it? Oh, I could reach it. Ah, I'm stupid. I'm just plain stupid. Okay, next level. Maybe I can solve it more elegantly. And ah, yes. They are also drawings of objects on the wall, which you can photograph and put them into the real world. Tricky, right? They don't tell you these things, you have to figure them out by yourself. It's not that hard, but sometimes you just don't think of these things. And then you're stuck and you really don't know what to do. So I would call this more of a puzzle game than a platformer, even though both elements are totally present in this game. They're not exclusive, so it's a puzzle platformer, yes? That's a quite fitting description. I think I might have to go in here. But there are no spikes in the way. Maybe I don't have to go here. Let's check out. No, there's nothing here. So let's go back. Oh, okay, I now remember where to go. Up here. And we're done with this level. So I think this should be quite a good representation of the game. Uh, let's do let's do one more. Let's do one more, and then I'll then we're good. Um, since this is another cool mechanic, these are doors. Well. What's so cool about doors, you might say? Well, I can get into this door and exit on the other side, and I can take a photo of the door. Yes, I can take the door with me. That's awesome, right? 
Yes, it is. Which means I can reach places I couldn't reach before. I just pasted on an unreachable spot, go on the other side, and ta-da! And each door has a, what would you call it, partner, so each door works with another door. So it's not like random if you got several doors in a level. Let's do one more, one more, then we're good I think. Since this level was really tricky, and I want to show off my incredible puzzle skills without showing you that I needed like 10 minutes to solve this one. Ah, uh, where to put it? Let's put it here. No, I didn't actually need it. Ah, yeah. So much about my great puzzle skills. Sometimes you need to build a platform to actually reach something to photograph it, like in this instance. I have to put the door on top of the box, otherwise I couldn't reach it from the top and photograph it. Which took me quite long to figure out. Yes, I'm not ashamed to admit I'm not very good at puzzle games. Um, but still, I love this one. And if you want me to, I will play it through, just leave a comment in the comment section below. But you should play it yourself, because it's... Simply awesome. I think I need to say more about this game. Oh, okay. They can actually... I wonder what happens if I turn them upside down. Okay, they fall down and... Oh, cool. Just worked, actually. No, what a shame. I don't turn around. I don't walk of it out of it upside down. That would be so cool. Also really confusing, probably pointless. Anyway, this was Snapshot, the nearly the complete first chapter. Um, I will not play the third part because this is actually really tricky and combines all elements of the previous levels. So I will not spoil this brain teaser for you. Easy brain teaser, so don't be worried. You you will get it. And. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up or even subscribe. I would really love that and it would help out a lot. And if you have suggestions for other games you want me to play, special games, anything, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Weasel. I'm out. Bye!